I'm early. I'm early. I'm early. <sighs> what? No. I'm on time. <sighs> yeah. We were supposed to meet at nine. Shit. It was eight? That's not true. I'm not late to everything. Okay, anything that isn't my job. But, to be fair, you know I suck at managing time and tasks and scheduling. Really? I like to think you'd still want to date me even if you did hate my penchant for late arrivals. Yeah, my rockin' hot bod. People so do still say that. They do. Anyways, surely my rock star physique, my charm, dashing smile, and poised grace would win you over despite that. Ha ha, very funny. Just admit that your boyfriend is the best damn catch out there imaginable. Well, I... No, of course you're amazing. No, that's not what I meant. Why are you like this? I'm glad you find my incapability to properly form answers under rapid-fire questions amusing. Our first date doesn't count in that argument because you're supposed to ask questions. Okay, so maybe it was a lot of questions, but to be fair, I wanted to know why a freelance night guard asked me out on a date at the scene of a crime. Being cute is not an adequate answer. I thought you actually killed the victim at the time. <sighs> you are impossible, and I hate that I love you so very much for that. A kiss isn't going to make up for that labyrinth of a conversation you just put me through. I said a kiss. You could convince me with another. I am swayed. Yeah, 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 yeah. My metaphorical defenses are very faulty and you make my brain melt with every touch. What's new? Well, I'm glad you asked my favorite Five Nights at Frankie's reference. I'll stop calling you that when I die. Uriah doesn't scare me. Don't tell him I said that. Ha 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 ha, you're a comedic genius, you know that? It's almost like you find my heart heading into physical decline amusing. Your best friend scares me to death. For someone as smart as you, Sherlock, I don't know why you can't deduce how terrifying he is. Some people my ass. With the way he looks at everyone, you'd think he was eyeing food. Right. Anyways, off of the reincarnation of demonic evil, you'll never believe the story I picked up on. Right, so don't tell anyone, but I think we may have a runaway criminal on our hands. Because this is exciting. How many runaway criminals can you say you've caught? Not people who steal stuff from half of the places you work, like actual bona fide murderers. You worry too much, I'm fine, but look at this. Starting from Washington, the murder of Mayor Thomas Welders. 
Then, there was a body found in Arizona that was left dry of all the victim's blood. They strike again in Texas by leaving a whole house of dead bodies that looked like the family inside of it was mauled by a wild animal. I mean, sure, if a wild animal knows how to unlock doors and not trip security alarms while tearing open a man's throat and leaving a bloodbath. Sorry, not the gory details. Right, so even though all these attacks seem unrelated by even the police's standards, the sighting of three other figures remains a constant. No one can identify them for some reason, but I do think I managed to get one of their faces. I called in some favors. Check it out. They were last seen in Washington on the day of Thomas Wilder's murder, and after that, they went missing before reappearing in Arizona as the sightings of three mystery guys started popping up online alongside them. Somehow, wherever they go, those guys follow, and if I've been tracking them right, then they should be in New Orleans. I did, but they said there's not enough proof and that the media shouldn't go around spreading rumors, especially when you're accusing a missing person with one arm of a murder. I'll have you know lots of people with a missing limb are perfectly capable of gruesome acts of violence. That's a reporter's promise. My boss said to follow my gut since the story sounded at least entertaining enough that if it busted, we could use it for a conspiracy column. I'm not going after them, but I am going to look around, because if my hunch is correct, then we might start seeing some action around here, and I need to get on the details of it. use my body to my advantage and make myself an indispensable asset to cater to their needs. Right, not funny. I'm not rushing into danger. I've done things like this tons of times before, and I'm still here, aren't I? to get the story, not to make it. Hey, I know you mean well. I just wish you wouldn't worry about me all the time. Okay, yes, I could get hurt, but I have complete faith that you'd find me. I mean, you always figure something out. Right, Sherlock? <laughs> I know you hate it, which is why I do it. You say you hate me, but my not being single yet proves otherwise. Mm hmm, I totally believe you. Anyways, how was your day? Oh, really? Is he okay? What about the person that barged in? Oh, so they were being followed by some drunk guys. That's good to hear for, well, not for them, but at least to know that they're okay. At, well, it's good still to know that they're good. Uh, you know what I mean, but they're good. It's good. My laptop? I mean, sure. Just make sure to clean up the browser history afterwards. I still use that for work after all, and it'd be very embarrassing if I opened up the browser. 
Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know. I'm only joking. I know you wouldn't do that with my computer. You would, however, do it on yours. I've been on your computer. I know you're not a saint, and I've seen what's in your search history. Anyways, what you doing? Really? Of course! If they're only spending so much time in one place, then they wouldn't have any time to grab people out of their reach. Which means they have a target radius to take people from. If this is true, then that means I only have a few days to catch this story before it runs off. And if you're right, which you usually are, you're welcome. Anyways, the next place they're going to target is... Oh, mother of a fucking cookie. Look... Within this exact radius, you can see that there's plenty of locations that they could strike, but most concerningly of all, is Uriah's shop. No, you're right. They have a period of time in which they use to grab their victims, and it's a little late in the game for them to start going after people. Unless... Are you sure that the guys who tried to break into the shop were actually drunks? And the person they were following? I mean... It's not impossible. I see your point, which is why it puts Uriah's new friend on the fence between suspect and former target. Hey, what's that look for? Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, oh, baby, no. No, don't, no, no. No. I promise. I know they're probably shaken up, and if they're staying with Uriah, then they probably need the space and are probably very new in town. I was going to ask your demon of a best friend about it. I know I can be a lot. But I promise, I wouldn't cross that line. Now I know you're just saying that to be nice. <laughs> okay, no, no, stop that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, okay, wait, 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 stop. All right, all right, I believe you. I won't be mean to myself, just please stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Your lips taste good. Oh, so when I don't take compliments, it's a problem. But when you don't, I'm being silly. You're impossible. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Wanna ditch this place? No, oh, I don't know. We'll race back to yours. Awesome. Ready? Set. Hey, wait, you cheater! Thomas Wellers was a demon, but he's not from Washington. He's from New York. Any appearance he had elsewhere should have been logged by the magical registry since they tend to pay special mind to demons in the system. But, as you can imagine, by now, he's only been recorded in standard government records following the discovery of his body. Exactly. 
As for the other bodies, I don't think they did that. The Bouchard brothers have methods of increasing the value of their bounties. I wouldn't put it past them to start killing people and pin it on our guests to up the reward. It's less about trust and more about the facts of the situation. Ain't that something your boy Tor would say? Right. Boyfriend. So, he's fine. He's got too much spunk and a mouth I don't know when to shut itself up. But if you like him, then that's fine by me. You're my one and only kindred. I want the best for you. But you're also my best friend. And I know you got a decent head on your shoulders. If you think he's a keeper, then I'll respect your decisions. You're welcome. I'm going to talk to him and find out the truth. They've told me enough to let me know that the Bouchard brothers are a smaller part of this, but I want to be sure how deep the water runs. Keep your boyfriend safe. He's hidden in something about getting killed if he's not careful. <laughs>